Hello and welcome to another gaming news special with myself Amata here on Red Gaming Tech. I have some Wii U news for you today, some of which is looking a little bit gloomy. Numerous Wii U owners have reported encountering a serious issue with the new console related to a pretty massive day one update required to access the online features for the Wii U. The update, which is supposedly 5 gig, can take over an hour to install and multiple users have claimed that interrupting the process has rendered their consoles unusable. The LI Times journalist Ben Fritz says there's no warning not to turn off the system during the install and there's also no cancel option. He said he ran into problems after unplugging the Wii U while downloading the update and says he's been contacted by multiple users whose consoles were also bricked when their power or internet went down mid-install. So yeah, this is not exactly a small problem. I mean, a 5 gig update is pretty big, especially if your internet isn't all that great, which is an issue for quite a few people. So you know, this is not exactly going to affect only one or two people, unless you happen to live in Sweden or somewhere like that where they just have amazing internet. It's going to be an issue if your internet goes down and it's not really going to be something that's under your control either. However, a support message on Nintendo's US website asks new users to pay, be patient and not turn off the console while updating it. This is going to be directly quoting now. The length of time it takes to perform a system update varies depending on the speed of the internet connection used. Please be patient. Due to the amount of new features and applications included, the system update may take an extended amount of time when performed during the initial setup. For some users it could take an hour or more to download and install. Do not power off your system during this time. So yeah, it really seems like they could have had the foresight to add some sort of warning in to not power off the console during the install. And while you think that should be obvious, that doesn't mean you should add an in. And also adding some sort of failsafe was probably a good idea too. Because as I said, what if you didn't power off? What if your internet fall fell over while it was installing? Lord knows that's happened to me enough time with games downloading or what have you, just when I'm downloading some f screenshots or some footage or something for a video and my internet's just decided to fall over because it can and I've lost all of my progress and have to re-download the entire thing. This is not necessarily an issue that you can control, especially if you live in a bad internet area. I mean, I live in the UK, which while not amazing for internet is not all that terrible either, but obviously there are some areas which are a lot worse than this, and some areas which are a lot better, but it's hardly going to affect only a few people, as I said earlier. So. It's not exactly the smoothest of launches so far for the Wii U. I mean, having a 5 gig update on day one is a little bit interesting to say the least by itself. But having these huge problems attached to it is not exactly going well. And also they're having problems with the Miiverse as well, which is the Wii U's embedded social networking service, which has commenced last night and has remains ongoing. That's the outage, of course. They said so many Mii's have jumped on Miiverse, some may be having problems connecting to the service. We are in the engine room getting it fixed. So basically their server can't handle the amount of people trying to get on their service at the moment. So it sounds like this is a little bit of a rocky start for the Wii U. Hopefully it's not a sign of things to come. To be honest, as I said, I think they really should have had some sort of warning when installing the update and something to stop it from completely destroying your system. I mean, as I said, if you turn off the, the power when something's updating, well, you know, that's a little bit silly. It's pretty common knowledge that you shouldn't do that. But as I said, what is the internet? That's not your fault. And for it to completely render your console unusable is, well not really acceptable to be honest especially if you've gone out got it on day one you're like yeah I finally got the Wii U so excited and you get it home it's an update oh, that's cool that's cool I'll download it and then just because your internet decides to you know not play ball then you're left with a brick that's basically as much use to you as a wet piece of paper so it's a little bit of a poor showing on Nintendo's point I mean to be honest if some people have been powering off then that's their own fault but as I said there could be multiple reasons for why people are having this problem and lack of warning on Nintendo's part is a little bit of a mistake to be honest.
The main thing that I'm worried about now is whether or not Nintendo is going to compensate the people that have been affected by this, whether or not they're going to release some sort of fix for future people who acquire the console, obviously, and whether or not they're going to offer replacement consoles for the people that have had theirs bricked by the failure in the update. I mean, especially if it happens through no fault of the user, for example, if their internet went down or something similar, then obviously it was something completely and utterly out of their control, then to be honest with you, Nintendo should and probably will offer them a replacement console to replace the one that has been destroyed due to the failed update. I would be quite shocked and appalled if they don't do that, to be quite honest with you. As even if it happened through them powering off or what have you, it still needs to happen that they get a new console. Because although I would argue that it must be very common knowledge by now that you never power off during an update or anything like that, if it's happened, it's happened and the user shouldn't be left high and dry after dropping a few hundred dollars on a new console just because of a simple error. I mean, to be honest with you, I think most of the people suffering from this issue probably had internet dropouts or something that was completely out of their control because most people know that you do not power off during a firmware upgrade or something similar for your PC, console or what have you. It's, it's pretty much common sense at this point, so I think that most of the people are going to be having that with a few pepperings of people who didn't know better mixed in. But even then, Nintendo should be offering some sort of compensation or replacements for the people affected by this issue, and I imagine they will because... <laughs> Despite the slightly bungled release of the Wii U, they do tend to know what they're doing. So yes, not a great start for the Wii U as I'm sure you would agree. Hopefully it's not a sign of things to come, but maybe if we get the rough times out of the way right at the start it can have smooth flying from this point on, but we'll have to see. Only time will tell of course. It's just interesting to see such a large update on day one and so many problems associated with it. Anyway guys, that's me done for this fairly short news video. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining of course, and I'll see you again soon.